hop into the real deal of this video, I want to thank the sponsor of it, which is Pocket Film School. Pocket Film School is an online learning platform that myself and a bunch of other amazing filmmakers put together and created. More info about that at the end of the video, but if you wanna learn how to make cool cinemagical sequences like you just saw, you can take a look at it at pocketfilmschool.io and learn all of the makings of how to make a great movie. All right, let's do the real deal tutorial. Okay, so we attached uh, a light to the base of our drone, flew it around and caught some super cinematic footage. So the other night we decided to attach a light to the base of my drone. Uh, the light was the Falcon Eye, where is it? I don't even know. We attached this little tiny Falcon Eye light to the base of my drone and this light is an amazing little piece of gear that has a bunch of different functions and modes. One of my favorite things about it is the fact that it can go through multiple different variations of light from uh, police siren, thunder and lightning crackling, a TV flashing, and just to just a bright white light. You can even change its color temperature. It's an RGB colored light so you can go through your range of colors. It's super duper useful and handy, as well as you can attach it to the base of a drone. And this is where uh, we were able to get some amazing footage from it because it just caught this really cool like hovering light that flew over the trees and it was relatively simple. Now the first thing that you should know is that your drone will operate a little bit differently if you decide to bongo tie your light to the base of your drone. Certain things will, their motors are gonna be working a lot harder. Your drone is gonna be using a lot more energy to fly up. And while flying it wasn't as much of a difficulty, it was landing it that when it landed it just smacked against the ground. Let's see how she looking. Looks good to me. Now, if you are someone who doesn't have a lot of money, doesn't want to crash their drone or break their pieces of gear, maybe this isn't something to do. But when Carl and I went out and flew, it was something super magical. Here's how we did it. Essentially, Carl got three bongo ties and wrapped them around the body of our drone and then turned on the light and flew it up. Now, this does eliminate your bottom sensors that are on the base of your drone, but if you fly with your sensors off or feel comfortable flying with your sensors off, this is totally fine. You can go pow pow dynamite. And then to create sort of the light effects that we were able to capture within this little micro scene, we uh, flew at different levels. Now keeping it at about like just above tree height and then panning the light over top. So going from like left to right over the trees essentially created this amazing shadow that cast across the ground, as well as this amazing pattern that went over and throughout the tree branches. And to me looked super cool. Now this can emulate a few different effects. One of the ones that we found looked cool was it was like a meteorite flying over. And when it was sort of out of focus and in the background, flying off into the night set, the set, the moon, moon set, just flying off throughout the night, it looked like just like a meteorite or like a, a rocket like crashing. And if you added that sound effect in, that's sort of something you could uh, apply. Now I tried doing a similar effect with another Falcon Eye product a, a few months ago, where essentially I was just panning the light from the ground and spreading across the tree, but it wasn't giving me the sort of overhead tree light effect that I, I was really wanting, mostly because it was coming from the ground. I find that if you are to point a light at a tree, the cooler effect is coming from downwards because not only are you getting sort of that effect through the branches, the f the, the floor, the, the forest floor, the grass and stuff with the shadow of the branches casting over, it's just like so money. And then the final sequence that we shot, uh, and again, a lot of this was like super rapid fast. Uh, the final sequence that we shot was um, I decided to take my shirt off and stand out in uh, the grassy area. Wait, would it look crazy like here if I was shirtless? And then we had the drone super low, which was actually creating three cool effects. The first one was obviously the light that was spotlighting down. Uh, the second one was in that light, we were actually catching rain droplets that were sort of spraying through, which added a nice texture to the scene. And then the third one was the wind from the propellers actually gave it sort of this sci-fi UFO type deal flying above. Um, so if you're trying to implement some sort of UFO style effect, um, this is something that can really do it on a super low budget. And as far as the camera settings that we had, we shot it on a gimbal. I just kind of ran around with the gimbal, filming the trees and all of that stuff uh, on my Sony a7S Mark II. Uh, I used the a7S Mark II over my a7 III just because of its low light capabilities. I cranked the ISO up to, I think, 5,000. Um, and in some other setups, I think we did up to two, up to 8,000 ISO and just kind of rolled the camera through those on a 
on a 16 mil lens, sometimes punching into that 35 mil and then playing it at 24 frames per second and filming at uh, a 1080 and just kind of just rolling around the space. So if you guys like that effect and want to experiment with your drone and attaching stuff onto it, he, this is how we ended up doing it. If you do not feel comfortable doing a setup like this, don't do it, don't push it, don't wreck any of your gear because uh, at the end of the day, it is risky and it is not recommended to attach things to your drone that are not properly fixed to it. But that's it, I'm Zach, I'll see you guys later. Keep making some great stuff. Stoked to see your dope drone footage. Stoked to see dope footage. All right, bye-bye. Before we wrap up this entire video, I want to do a little plug for Pocket Film School. The film, the short film that we shot with the rocket and all that stuff was based off the skills that Carl and I have acquired by being in the film industry for over the past probably eight years. And we've accumulated all of that knowledge and put it into a bite-sized course called Pocket Film School Start to Finish. So if you guys wanna learn how to become a filmmaker, learn all the nitty gritty details of collaboration, cinematography, directing, editing, production design, music, and producing, along with a bunch of other things, take a look at pocketfilmschool.io. If you click the link in the description below, it'll take you right there. And um, you can either take a look at my directing course, which is the Indie Director's Masterclass, or if you wanna learn all the nuts and bolts of being a filmmaker, there's our start to finish course. But that's it. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Good luck doing your drone deals and uh, stay safe in this crazy time we're in. Uh, but hopefully this gave you a little bit of entertainment or ideas if you live out in the middle of nowhere and can fly your drone with a light on it. Anyway, that's it. Um, waving goodbye! <laughs>